welcome back to a video for the second straight day. Uh, you now are gonna watch my uh, NFL power rankings for week. Is it really week ten already? Nah. -uh. It is. It is week ten. Um, week ten NFL, not power rankings. It was NBA power rankings last yesterday. Uh, it's NFL picks this today. But, uh, yeah, so, as you can see in the top right corner, my overall is currently at 91, 44, and 1. Again, the 1, week 1, um, Cardinals and Lions, that was a tag. So, yeah. But, yeah, I'm gonna improve that to no losses, so, however many weeks that would, that would be. So, uh, as we proceed to our games, Chargers Raiders, this is going to be a close game. It's going to be pretty fun. I think it's going to be a shootout, assuming Philip Rivers can go get going. Otherwise, the Raiders are probably going to win. I'm hoping it's a shootout, and Jacob, Josh Jacobs does good because I have him on my fantasy team. And I'm kind of hoping he does good because Carson Wentz is on a bye. So I'm kind of screwed. Have to have and DeAndre Hopkins and uh, Leonard Fournette. So yeah, <laughs> but yeah, Chargers I think will win this game. Lions and Bears. Uh, Lions because the Bears are looking like they don't know how to play football. Mitchell Trubisky sucks. Uh, that just shows you something about the Pro Bowl. It doesn't mean anything. Also, do you know how many quarterbacks had to decline it for him to get in? Everyone's. I'm always saying Mitchell Trubisky. Like before a year, I'm saying Mitch, Mitchell Trubisky is not very good. And then people will say like he made the Pro Bowl last year. And then I'd be like, he realized that like lots of quarterbacks had to decline the Pro Bowl for the political reasons, which is so dumb. But whatever. Um, for him to get in, he's probably the worst starting quarterback in the NFL aside from. Rookies, and I would say Josh Rosen, but he's not starting anymore. Thank goodness. Uh, Ravens and Bengals. Ravens coming off of a ginormous win over the Patriots. Happy. I'm happy. Finally, the Patriots. I hate the Patriots. I have to deal with them twice every year. And, uh, yeah... Wish we could win a few of those games, but whatever. <clears throat> so I think the Ravens will beat the Bengals, though, because the Bengals are probably, well, I mean, Jets are probably the worst team, actually, but yeah. Ravens are going to beat the Bengals, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Bills and Browns. Probably the Bills, because the Browns are dying at this point. I picked them to lose to the Broncos, and what happened? They lost to the Broncos. Smart. Um, uh, Bills are probably going to make the playoffs, as much as I hate to say it. Uh, but, yeah, I think they'll beat the, beat the Browns, believe it or not. Browns have been so underwhelming. Falcons and Saints, this is the most confident pick I have this week. That the Saints will beat the Falcons because the Falcons have the worst defense in the NFL and Falcons have one of the top. Falcons are screwed. That's why I picked up their defense and their kicker for fantasy because, again, I have Jake Elliott. He's on a bye. I mean, I had the Cowboys do last week, but they're, they're going to bye this week? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, Falcons will lose to the Saints pretty definitely. Giants and Jets... Giants at Jets, quote unquote at. Um, not not really an at. It's literally the same stadium either way. Giants will win in a probably close one. This is hard to me to decide for me to decide. Uh, Cardinals and Buccaneers. I think that just with how bad the Cardinals defense has been and the Buccaneers offense, how high powered it's been at some times. I mean, they took the Seahawks to overtime. Uh, yeah. It should. I don't think it's going to be a very close game unless Kyler can do something amazing. So I think the Bucks will win. Chiefs, Titans, am I crazy to pick the Chiefs over the Titans? Mahomes is probably coming back. 
and the Titans are, like, horrible. Dolphins and Colts. I'm a happy person. I am a Dolphins fan. And, uh, they finally win. Jets suck. I realize that. We suck. I realize that. But we're not going to go 0-16. Because we are not the worst team in NFL history. Yes, thank you. I rest my... Oh, I mean, we won. We won. We won. We won. The Browns are... Probably that was the worst... That's the worst team I've seen. I wasn't paying attention when the Lions and I think someone else did it, but I don't know who. I just know I wasn't paying attention at that point. Colts will probably beat them even if Jacoby Brissett does not play. If Jacoby Brissett does not play, it'll probably... It, if it's, it'll be a close game. This will be the game that shows if the Dolphins are going to tank the rest of the season and lose every game. So probably deciding it, my pick if they beat the Bengals or not. But... So if it's a game within 14 points, maybe? 10 or 14. It's, uh, the Dolphins are not tanking. We'll say 10 for not tanking. 14's maybe. And if it's more than 14, then we are tanking. Especially if Jacob Reset does not play. But we won. That's all I'm happy about. Hoping we kind of get that Burrow guy from, or I think, L the LSU quarterback. I don't want to at this point showing injuries. And uh, I've just always not liked Alabama players. We just traded Minka for a first round pick. Sealers hopefully keep, or start doing bad and not beating the Colts. Who conveniently the Dolphins play. But whatever. Packers, Panthers. Um, or Panthers, Packers. Packers will win because, I mean, Cam Newton just got put on the IR. He's played like one game this year. Kyle Allen's looked okay. This is an angry Packers crowd, though, and they will be murdering the Panthers' ears. And, like, yeah, that's all I can really say about this stuff. Uh, Rams, Steelers. Uh, this one, I. It's probably my upset of the week. Steelers, I think, will beat the Rams as much as I, again, hate to say it because we have their first round pick this year. The Steelers. Or, yeah, the Steelers. Also, I think we just, Dolphins, us, we just traded for Aqib Tlaib and a high, like, a third round pick for, like, a six. So, basically, we're getting a higher pick for paying Aqib Tlaib the rest of his contract. Because the Rams are in debt, like, they have, or not in debt, but, like, uh, are not in a great spot financially. And, like, over half their money's going to, like, five people. So, they're kind of screwed. But anyway, I still think the Steelers will be them at home. Again, upset alert. Oh yeah, Cowboys are not on the bye. They're playing the Vikings. Who, um, it's going to be loud in AT&T Stadium. And uh, Vikings do not have a very good offensive line. I don't think I'm crazy to say that either. Yeah. I don't have anything else to say. Cowboys are going to probably blow them out. Especially with their pass rush. I should have kept their defense. If the Saints weren't playing the Falcons, I probably would have. But whatever. And they can happen to be in free agency. Uh, Seahawks and 49ers. This is going to be the game of the week. I don't care. America's game of the week's probably gonna be probably gonna be Rams and Steelers or Packers Panthers. I haven't heard yet. Probably one of those two. This should this would be it if it was on Sun or it would. It, it just is. It is the game of the week. Seahawks and 49ers. Seahawks win this game. They've pretty much locked up the division. Because it's not like they're going to lose. Seven consecutive games. And. Even with that. They're still 9-7. and seven, So they're. I mean. That's not a very amazing record. With how deep the NFC is. But. That's. I mean. If they can win. Two games. After, if they win this one, if they can win three more games from this point, they are pretty much locked up a playoff spot. Especially if they win this one, because that just means that they're even higher up in their division and will win against the team in their division, so that helps tiebreakers and stuff. I think they'll win, especially at home, not in Seattle. Seattle would be a different story, and I, I, don't, I probably still would have went with San Francisco, but it would have been a lot like more debating. This one already took like five minutes. 
five whole minutes. It doesn't sound like very long to you guys, but I mean, yeah, it would have taken like fifteen to thirty. I would have been just thinking. Hmm. Same thing. But anyway, these are my picks. I will go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and oh, three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, and oh. I'm gonna go thirteen and oh, raise my record up to, um, one oh four and forty four, one oh four, forty four, and one. I should have known that quicker just being in advanced math classes. No flex, by the way, but. I mean, I, I should have known that. It's simple addition. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. And, just, yeah, bye.